So Brandon Rapp writes in with this question. He says, hey, can the Hyperion H, should be HCLV, launch an XR5 or is it too heavy? Well, Brandon, as a matter of fact, the HCLV can, in fact, launch the XR5, but it doesn't have the lifting capacity to get it all the way up to orbital velocity. I'll uh, do a quick demonstration here and show you that. Switch camera views here. You can see that the I had the, the Vanguard mounted to the HCLV, which actually looks pretty ridiculous if you consider how large the Vanguard is in comparison to the uh, lifter. So aesthetically, it certainly doesn't look good, but um, it does in fact it does in fact work. It has enough power to get it well up into the high atmosphere. So at the very least, you could uh, use it to save a tremendous amount of fuel in the in the Vanguard to get yourself up, you know, up to 70 or 80 kilometers and up to a thousand or 2,000 meters a second. I don't know exactly how fast you get before the HCLV runs out of fuel. But uh, if we switch views here, actually we need to go to the HCLV. And we'll just use its autopilot. So load the Hyperion control, bring this up, and we'll just leave everything at its default and hit launch. And you can see that it has no problem whatsoever lifting the Vanguard. You know, again, um, it's not gonna, it won't get it all the way up to orbital velocity. But if for some reason you are on a really tight budget fuel wise and you needed to save all the delta v that you can then uh, yeah you could use the hclv here at the start of the mission at least to get the uh, vanguard up uh, you know again i don't know exactly where the cutoff is at you know we can actually find out here in this video let me switch to our hug color but you know you can at least get your vessel up to you know 70 or 80 kilometers and I think it'll also get up to close to 2,000 meters a second before it before it runs out of uh, gas, so to speak. So let's just go ahead and uh, follow the launch here. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up this video. So rather than sit here for the next uh, three or four minutes while this while the uh, vessel goes up into you know higher higher altitudes, I'm just going to go ahead and speed up the video. So let me pause the, let me mute the mic and I'm going to speed up the video right now. Okay, so as you can see, you know, we're about out of fuel, we're gonna run out of fuel here in a second. We're actually descending. You'll note that the altitude's gone down by quite a bit. So if I were to fly this myself, I would actually have aborted the autopilot uh, several kilometers ago because now we're getting into a situation where we're getting pretty low in the atmosphere and we're going to be in a lot of problems. But uh, we can detach the payload, you know, more gracefully than that, obviously and uh, you know now use the main engines of the XR5 to carry us the rest of the way to orbit. Warning. Hull temperature. But in this case it's a total failure because again uh, once it started descending I didn't do anything to correct it because I just wanted to see what the launcher itself would do. But uh, there you have it. Hope that answers your question and I will see you in the next video.